Understanding in the echo of a guide to English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the phrase in the echo of. This is a phrase you might encounter in books, songs, or in everyday conversation. Understanding such phrases is key to mastering the nuances of English. Let's explore this together. In the echo of is a poetic and somewhat metaphorical phrase. It is often used to describe a situation where something is being remembered, reflected upon, or influenced by the past. Imagine an echo in a large hall. The original sound is gone, but its reverberation still fills the space. Similarly, when we say something is in the echo of something else, it means it is under the influence or lingering effect of that thing. Let's look at some examples to understand this better. One, in the echo of his words, she found comfort. Here, the phrase suggests that the impact of his words continues to comfort her, even though the words were spoken in the past. Two, the new law was created in the echo of previous legal cases. This means that the new law was influenced by or as a response to what happened in those earlier cases. While, in the echo of, is not an everyday phrase, it's useful in specific contexts, especially in creative writing or when describing historical or emotional influences. For instance, in the echo of my childhood memories, I designed the garden. Here, the design of the garden is influenced by the person's childhood memories. It's important not to confuse in the echo of with literal echoes or sound. The phrase is metaphorical and deals more with influence, memory, or aftermath rather than actual sounds. And that's a wrap on in the echo of. I hope this video has shed light on this interesting phrase and added to your understanding of English. Remember, language is not just about words, but the stories and images those words convey. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.